Good morning. Let us bow our heads for our invocation. O oh God, our help in ages past, our strength for years to come, our shelter in a stormy blast. God, you are our eternal home. Creator, sustainer of this universe, we come this morning pausing first to say thank you for this glorious day. Thank you for this celebration where these graduates have worked hard, they have been diligent, they have been dedicated, and they have now persevered. We ask today that as we celebrate each one of them, that you will crown them with your love and your kindness. We are thankful for this unique occasion, but we give you glory and honor for all that you continue to do. Thank you, oh God, that despite COVID-19, we still made it. We thank you today that you allowed us to continue to push forward and continue to lean to, not to our own understanding, but to your ways. We ask now during this celebration that you would allow us to reflect, to reminisce, and to just think about all of the good days all of the difficult days, but now we might celebrate this joyous occasion. We ask for your presence in this place on today. We thank you that all of God's people say, Amen. Good morning. I'm John Burness, Chair of the Durham Tech College Board of Trustees. I'm pleased to welcome you to this eventful and important day in your lives. Today we celebrate the knowledge you have gained, the goals you have achieved, and the positive impact you will make in a world that needs your engagement and commitment more than ever to a just society. The great African writer and humanitarian Chinua Achebe has written, and I quote, Nobody can teach me who I am. You can describe parts of me, but who I am and what I need is something I have to find for myself. I echo Achebe's observation and urge you to take everything you have gained from your experiences at Durham Tech to discover the person you can be and always remember that what you have learned here can make your community and your world a better place. My colleagues on the board and I are so proud of what you have accomplished at Durham Tech, particularly in the craziness of this past year. We wish you the best as this chapter comes to a close and you turn a page in your own life story. Congratulations, class of 2020. Enjoy this moment. It is yours. Go forward and use your education as a platform to change the world and do great things. Good morning. My name is Dr. Tara Fikes, and I am the Vice Chair of the Durham Tech Board of Trustees. It is my honor to welcome all family, friends, Durham Tech faculty, staff, supporters, and most importantly, our graduates to the, this 2020 Durham Tech commencement ceremony. This event signifies a transition for each student here today. Shortly, you will all leave here with your certificates, diplomas, or degrees and that document will facilitate your next step in life, whether that step leads you to a new career, leads you to acquire more education, or helps you continue to excel in your current career. Whatever that next step will be, you all will be able to carry with you the knowledge you have gained and the confidence to know you are ready for whatever lies ahead. 
We recognize that getting here to this moment has not been an easy journey. You have had to work hard, make sacrifices, and commit yourselves to your academic programs. So be proud of your journey and be proud of what you have accomplished. We know that you will do great things and make a positive difference in our community. Graduates, we here at Durham Tech and the Board of Trustees would like to officially congratulate each and every one of you today. We wish you all the best as you step into your destiny. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you President Bill Ingram. Thank you, Dr. Fikes. Good morning. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Durham Technical Community College, I welcome the 2020 graduating class along with family and friends who have gathered here for this special occasion. Well, this is not the commencement that anyone had in mind. Back in February, a few short months ago, we were looking forward to another outstanding event the evening of May 14th at the Durham Performing Arts Center. But like almost everything else around us, COVID-19 pandemic has caused us to change our plans. I want to thank Lisa Inman, Dean of Student Development, Gilbert Umberger, Coordinator of Student Events, and Nathan Harden, Director of Marketing and Communications, and other members of the, com the Commencement Planning Committee for their outstanding work in preparing for today's event. They've been working overtime for the past several weeks to make today's celebration possible. And special thanks to Don Tivapaw, Chief of Campus Police and Public Safety, and our police and security officers who have helped manage access to campus today. While most of the rest of us have been sheltering in place for the past three months, these dedicated men and women have been here protecting our campus and those who have been here to do their jobs. We now come to the part of the program where I would ordinarily recognize the friends and, friends and family members of our graduates and thank them for their support they have provided over the years by asking them to stand. These are the spouses who took on extra household duties, the parents who doubled as babysitters, the friends and neighbors who were chauffeurs or or study partners. I'd ask them to stand to be recognized, but that's not going to work out so well this morning. So graduates, you know who these heroes in your life are. And you know better than anyone what their support has meant to you today. So thank them. Praise them. Hug them if you can. And if you can't hug them, and even if you can hug them, Give them a shout out on your favorite social media platform. Let the world know that you think the world of them. It has been a remarkable year at Durham Tech. We opened the Hospitality and Culinary Arts Center at the American Tobacco Campus and established a new program to train electric line technicians. We began construction on the Applied Technology Center and acquired two new buildings adjacent to campus to provide for future expansion. And tomorrow marks the official end of the Forge Great Futures campaign. In three years, we have raised nearly five and a half million dollars to provide for new program development and offer more support for students and their, and their families. Among our most generous gifts is a one million dollar grant from Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina, the largest single gift in the college's history. The Blue Cross Blue Shield Mobile Health Lab will allow our students in health and wellness programs to give back by providing free eyeglasses and dental pre-screenings for children in our community. Giving back has been a, become a tradition at Durham Tech. In the past year, our students, faculty, and staff have logged nearly 4,000 volunteer hours in Durham and Orange Counties, contributing the equivalent of nearly $100,000 in service. And in just the past few months, we have provided free computers to over 150 students 
enabling them, enabling you, to complete their spring semester through online classes. And in partnership with the Cooperative Extension Service of Durham County, our Campus Harvest Food Pantry continues to distribute food to food insecure students and their families and has delivered over 350 frozen meals. This is a day of superlatives. This is the first graduation to actually take place on our campus. The first to take place in a parking lot. The first to be broadcast on the radio. The first with face masks as part of the regalia. You're a member of Durham Tech's largest graduating class with over 1,000 members and over 140 who are receiving their gateway to college adult high school diploma or high school equivalency. Let me tell you about a few of your fellow classmates. Born with cystic fibrosis, Max Carpenter was very ill in his early 20s and never believed he'd be able to accomplish much until he received a bilateral lung transplant five years ago. After taking a couple of years to rebuild his strength, he enrolled at Durham Tech in January of 2018 to start building the future he'd always dreamed of. He found his path in the Information Technology and Cloud Systems Administration program. He's faced multiple hospitalizations due to organ rejections, surgeries, and illnesses that resulted in him attending classes on IV medications. But he remained determined to stay on track. He is Durham Tech's recipient of the 2020 Academic Excellence Award. His career goal is to oversee an IT department for a medium to large size company in the Triangle. We wish you the best, Max. Samuel Corvey, originally from Ghana, Africa, moved to the United States when he was 18 and today receives his associate in engineering degree. One of the first participants in the C3 program, Samuel will be transferring to North Carolina State University to study electrical engineering with a good night scholarship worth over $20,000 a year. While at Durham Tech, Samuel was vice president of the Phi Theta Kappa Honorary Society, was president of Durham Tech's Ambassadors for Christ, and gave back as a volunteer with the American Red Cross. Congratulations, Samuel, and very well deserved. At age 16, Ariel Sowell experienced the sudden and unexpected death of her mother. The emotional and mental strain of this loss threw her off the traditional educational path. Eventually, she found her way to Durham Tech's Gateway to College adult high school program where she has flourished. She shows up every day to encourage her classmates and to spread joy to all those who meet her. She's now continuing her education at Durham Tech and plans to pursue a, a, a degree in respiratory therapy while also expanding her creative outlets to performing stand-up, comedy, singing, acting, and writing. And finally this. About three years ago, I was walking across campus when I was approached by this big guy with a huge grin on his face. It was obvious he was nervous as he asked me if I was the president. I said yes, and he asked me then if he could take a selfie with me. Since that time, Mike Stone has left his mark on this campus, and in doing so taught me and everyone who knows him that differently abled is not disabled. Mike has shared his story about autism to members of our health and wellness faculty and with his fellow students from across the state in the North Carolina State Leadership Pro student, student Leadership Program. He's also a member of Phi Theta Kappa and a cum laude graduate in the Associate in General Education Program. Mike graduated in December and began his career in the hospitality industry and within two months had received an outstanding employee award at the Siena Hotel in Chapel Hill. Mike, it has been a privilege to know you. Now, asking a college president which is his or her favorite graduating class is like asking a parent which is their favorite child. But this class, Durham Tech's class of 2020, will always be special for me. And not just because this is my last time to celebrate commencement as president. You have demonstrated extraordinary resilience and tenacity and ingenuity just to be here today. 
less than four months ago, when you left campus for spring break, you had no idea you would not be coming back until this day. You suddenly found yourselves enrolled in an online college. And you adapted and persisted and figured it out. And those skills, adaptability, resilience, persistence, the ability to figure it out on the fly, may be the most important skills you've developed at Durham Tech. We gather today for a moment of celebration during unsettling, turbulent times. The COVID-19 pandemic and recent acts of police violence directed at people of color are painful evidence of a social system in dire need of rebuilding. It is both your challenge and your opportunity to use the skills you develop here, persistence, resilience, tenacity, to reform our society and make it more just, more inclusive, and more equitable. This is not the commencement that any of, any of us had in mind, but it is the moment that has been given to us. These times remind us that there are no guarantees. All we truly have are the moments given to us. And the best we can do is to make the most of them. Durham Tech Class of 2020, make the most of this moment, and the next moment, and the next. This is how you build a life of, with meaning and value. This is what we have prepared you to do, and you can do it. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Justin Hall. I was the 2019-2020 president of Durham Tech's Student Government Association, and I am a 2020 graduate. I have attended Durham Tech since fall of 2017, and I have just completed the Associate in Arts program. I want to talk to you about the unique experiences we've shared and what my hopes are for our collective future. I know, as President Ingram just mentioned to you, that this is not the commencement you had initially expected. I didn't expect it. We have faced an unprecedented set of circumstances. Our class schedules and the schedules of our personal lives have been flipped on their heads. Our ability to socialize was limited. Yes, there have been challenges, many challenges. Yet, we all made it here. We have accomplished something worthy of celebration. I am, and I think we should all be, tremendously impressed with ourselves that we made it here, given the challenges we faced this year and throughout the entireties of our academic journeys. But we couldn't have gotten to this point alone. We each had some fantastic people who helped us get to where we are today. President Ingram, his administration, and the faculty deserve our immense gratitude, as do Board Chair John Burness and the rest of the Board of Trustees. I am personally very grateful to my very first instructor, Sonny Haynes, along with countless others. Wherever you go from here, remember the people that helped you get to this point. I don't know exactly what the future holds for all of us. We are, to quote Ralph Ellison's Invisible Man, woven of many strands. Some of us are transferring to four-year institutions. Some of us are entering the workforce. Some of us are trying to decide what comes next. You've all done great things to get here today. Whatever the future holds for you, be proud of the hurdles you've overcome to get here. Keep overcoming hurdles. 
and never stop doing great things. Thank you. Mr. President, these students have met the academic requirements of their prospective programs, and I present them as candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Will the candidates for the associate degree please make some noise? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the North Carolina State Board of Community Colleges and the Durham Technical Community College Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree of Associate in Applied Science or the Associate in Arts or the Associate in Engineering or the Associate in Fine Arts or the Associate in General Education or the Associate in Science, together with all the rights privileges and honors thereto appertaining. Will the candidates for the curriculum diplomas and certificates please make some noise. Having completed in a satisfactory manner the courses required in your programs, you are hereby declared graduates and upon the recommendation of the faculty are granted the curriculum diploma or certificate. Will the candidates for the high school diploma and high school equivalency diploma please make some noise. Having satisfactorily completed the requirements for the Gateway to College, Adult High School Program, or the High School Equivalency Program, you are hereby declared graduates and granted the High School Diploma. Students, to confirm your graduation, Please switch your tassels from the right to the left. weirdest commencement ever. <laughs> Graduates, we find ourselves in extraordinary times, times that provide opportunities to do extraordinary things. Use the skills you've learned at Durham Tech to build a life full of meaningful moments. And in doing so, you will do great things for yourselves, your families, your communities, and our world. Let us prepare our hearts and minds now for our benedictus. May we go forth from this place with a true spirit of character, commitment, and integrity to serve this present age. May God's love abound, may peace surround, and may integrity fall all upon us as we serve this present age, our calling to fulfill. We thank you, we praise you.
once again that all of God's people say, Amen. So now we will be introducing our class of And now we have Octavia Cozart. Congratulations, Octavia. Here we have Glenda Denise Lee. Brittany E. Owen. Shanika Lynette Brown. Odette Ramos Lorenzo. Allison Wolford. Andrea Fabiana Lutri. Michael E. Stone. Amina E. Seca. Elias Quinn Stevens. Khadija Saleh. Ashley Stephanie Lopez. Leticia Monique Dorsey. Special 
A. Dover. Ramil Ingram. Jamie Alejandra Barra Pachon. Barrington Ruth Briggs. Dylan Williams. Jennifer C. Morales. Danay Sinai Morales Herrera. Mohamed Yusuf Abbasi. Jackson W. Locker. Jonathan Rodriguez. Juan Carlos Perez Alvisure. Latrell Royster. Ikea Janelle Barnes. Aaron Centeno. Monica Herrera. Patrick Brian Horror. Antonio Flores Vega. Chanel Lynette Gaskin. Elliot Richard. Olalua Tuminunu Bello. Ariel Vaness Sol. Azra Kali. Ayinde Cecilia Khan. Elise Toom. Francie Nicola Elise Rawls. Ayana Alu Patterson. <laughs> Kathleen Danielle Galliana. Alicia Yodlowski. Maria Perez Aguilar. <laughs> Sheila Carrington. Oratunji Anthony Adeniyi. Amal Pita. Maryam Barbie. Hawa Barbie. Leslie Jones. Joyce. John Russell. 2020, we made it. Right. Cindy Valencia Leo. <laughs> Naisha Green. <laughs> the
Buya Yacoba. Juanetta Victoria Smart. Cynthia Marshall, Stephanie Toomer, Alfred Mogafa Ogechi, Arewumi Ismail Aratunzi. Kelly Renee Kenny. Kirsten Marie Frolic. John Charles Ed. Perla Carpintero Marban. Sheila Carrington. Christopher Andrew McDuff. Lydia Maria Homeshine. Smaya B. Cotton. Ana Lilia Hernandez. Shania Romero Velasquez. Angela Marie Shackleford. Corey Matt. Cornelius Thomas. Tamika Eason. Jakea Tierra Jones. Zoe Maxine Cohen. Genesis. Patricia Gonzalez Cruz. Juliana Alcocer. Majida Rania Abdullah Aversen. Asalia Sanchez. Wendy. Williams, Monica Vanessa Williams, Latora Gaddy, Ebony Dawn Fasson, Johnny Lee Cole, Armani Pearl. Headford McFadder, Shelby Clayton, Evelyn Homo, Elijah Henry Clayton, Arlene Mogollan Garcia, Natasha C. Johnson, John. H. P. Brooks, Carla Mariela Mitudo, Geraldine Castillo Apolinar, Cortilius Lachey Hunt, Veronica Michinwe, Angel L. Lopez Rodriguez, Mia. Marianne Wilson, Maisha Rashonda Smith, Francis Tomien Barclay, Justin Nicholas Paul.
Again, congratulations to the 2020 Parade of Graduates.